My name is Dr. Arjuna Kuparan. I'm a nose and sinus specialist, board certified in ear, nose, and throat surgery. The question is, what is a breathplasty procedure? The breathplasty is something that I have trademarked because I think it's done in a very unique way that uh, no one else is really doing it. Patients who have nasal congestion and stuffiness in their nose have a lot of different options for finding ways to breathe better. The breathplasty is a very unique procedure because of the way that we do it. Normally when patients get something called a turbinate reduction to create more space inside their nose, it's done using something called a microdebreeder, which basically sucks and cuts tissue up inside the nose. It's very imprecise and it's very damaging. Because we're not using an imprecise tool to do the surgery and we're dissecting the bone completely from within the turbinate, it's gone forever and you don't have to worry about any of the side effects or complications that you can get from over resection of the turbinates. The breathplasty does not use any of that. Basically, if you imagine that your turbinate is like a hot dog, which is kind of how it looks, um, and you open up the hot dog bun and take out the hot dog and put the bun back together again, that's essentially what the breathplasty is. The hot dog that you're removing from the bun actually represents a large chunk of bone that sits inside the turbinate. And so by removing that bone completely, but preserving the covering around the bone, you maximize the function of the turbinate, but reduce the footprint that it takes inside the nose. And this really creates the optimal breathing effect for the patient. And the great thing about it is that it's long term, uh, the bone never grows back. Patients always ask, you know, is there a chance that I'll need to do this again? Is this gonna come back? And the answer is no, because the stuff that we're taking out of the turbinate um, does not grow back again. Um, and so that's the reason that I coined it and termed it the way that I did, um, is because the way that we do it is something that no one else is doing. So the question is, why would you get a breathplasty over an inferior turbinate reduction? So the answer to that question is that the breathplasty is really its own form of a turbinate reduction. It's just done in a much more elegant, uh, effective uh, way compared to the way that a turbinate reduction is done. A turbinate reduction is typically done using a microdebreeder, which is a tissue shaver that sucks and cuts tissue. And it allows you to do the, the procedure quickly. The problem is that it just damages a lot of the tissue in the process. So the breathplasty, because it's not using that device, um, allows for a much better result.